Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we have finished cleaning up the side of the house and we're gonna start installing some ledger boards, which is one of the most important parts of installing your deck frame. So stay tuned and catch how we do that. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Uh, always comment below and like our videos. We really appreciate it and let's get going. All right, so the side of the house is completely cleaned up. That took us about eight hours of of work to strip all the old ledgers, get everything taken off, try to remove as much siding as possible without breaking it. We still broke a bunch, but we G-taped the side of the house because basically the ho they, had ho they had house wrap on the side of the house, but every time they put a nail through the house wrap, it created a leak. And there was evidence of that on the exposed areas. Once we pulled the house wrap off, you could see where water was leaking in through the nail holes. So what we did is we put G-tape up, which is a waterproof membrane tape. So it seals every fastener that goes in through it. So it's like a waterproof membrane tape. So kind of a cool step that we do on every deck. Every, it doesn't matter, we're waterproofing this deck, does not matter, we're still putting G-tape up no matter what, so that it can stay as dry and as, if there is a leak or something, water, moisture, whatever gets behind the ledger, that it still keeps the house dry. So now that that's done, we're gonna rearrange our job site a little bit. I'm gonna move this lumber with a machine and we're gonna set up our cut hub and kind of get things ready for shop so that like every time we need to make cuts, we can just do so. So that's what we're doing right now. That'll take us, you know, a good 30, 40 minutes and then we'll get ready and then we'll start hanging those ledger boards. setting up the cut hub today. I had already set it up last week, but that was a little preemptive of me because I put it right here and we're trying to move our bobcat around here and we had to mix concrete here. So tore it down, decided to put it over here. It's just a little bit of a weird slope. So with the cut hub, it's pretty quick to install. Uh, it just takes a minute to level it out. You know, it's fairly close, but then when you put a piece of two by four or two by 12, whatever, you don't want it sitting on this and then bumping into the base of your saw or whatever. So just tinkering with that, making sure it's nice and flat so it's nice and easy to put our whoop, tables all over here and uh, rip things and cut things and whatever. So a little bit of prep before we install our ledgers. Well, that was Ooh. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is a Stabila LAR350, and this is a really sweet laser. This is how we justify elevation of the house to make sure our floor's not tilted too bad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire this thing up, let it do its thing, and then I have a receiver right here. We've actually done a video on this, so go back in our archive to Stabila LAR350, and you'll see a review that we did on it. But, uh, blinking now it's blinking white so this thing's ready to go um, it's shooting a, a level line across the entire house so what I want to know is basically all my corners wherever there's a corner on this deck I want to see how well the old deck was as far as level usually they're not that accurate I'm gonna measure from the corner there these three corners up here and then the far corner over there and see if I can't pick a height that I want to put my ledger board at because that's the next step now that we have all of our old ledgers off and the house is cleaned up and everything's g-taped all the way around now it's time to put the new ledgers on and it's noon now so it'll take us probably the rest of the day to get all those done and put together and possibly layouts if i'm lucky but uh and then tomorrow we'll start setting some posts for and beams for the deck
much lower are we than the corner? <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. And a receiver. What is that? Is that ultralight? All right, so we're using this receiver and the stick to figure out elevation of the deck and where we're gonna put our ledger board, which is really important measurement. So we're just getting to that point right now. When this starts to make that noise, we're close and then I just have to adjust the height until I get a straight line like that. And that's where our laser is and that's level and then we measure down to that line and that's where we put our mark. Quiet, quiet. And then, uh, and that's how we justify the elevation. That way, once we have our ledgers up and I know the entire ledger is level, I can use the laser again to uh, cut all my post heights to height, which is gonna be really nice. I won't have to guess. We won't have to run a bunch of lumber out from the house or anything like that. I'll just know, hey, we're at this height, we're good to go. Once I got this thing to beep right, then we measured up a certain distance and we marked the G tape where our ledger needs to go. And then we'll go back and we'll chalk all those lines and then that's exactly the heights we need to put our ledgers at. But what we could do is let's chalk all these lines in and then let's mark the rest of the house out and get those chalked. And then we'll leave the scaffolding where it is and we'll start by installing those ledgers first. Okay. And then we'll just start working our way around the house. Our friends at Simpson Strong Tie swung by today and they dropped off some really cool products. Uh, these concealed flange brackets are hot and they're in black, which I really like. The cool part is you use a structural screw and this washer that gives it like a really massive bolt look. And they just fit right over the top of these oversized holes on the side of the bracket. And then you install these structural screws in like this and those go into the beam like so. So pretty trick way to install a beam. A really cool look. Um, I'm into black hardware, so we're getting more into it. So they dropped us off some stuff for us to check out and test. And we're gonna check it out on this deck. So we have uh, one beam bracket, then we have some brackets for our concrete as well uh, that we're gonna try out. So we're excited for those. It's just a bit, little bit nicer look a little bit more streamlined, and they br brought us some other products as well, and we'll kind of show you those as we're into our build. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw today or you just feel like it, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like and comment down below. We try to get back to you as much as we can. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.